October 2024, France is facing a nightmare beyond imagination. What began as a relentless downpour has now turned into one of the most catastrophic floods in modern French history. The heart of the nation is submerged, with entire communities washed away by unforgiving floodwaters that have turned once peaceful towns into devastated disaster zones. This is not just another storm. This is nature's fury at its most terrifying. Heavy rains, powered by an atmospheric anomaly, have been pounding the country for days. Chaque colon commence à se forger une place au sein du groupe. Bah qu'est-ce que tu fous là toi Ramenez-moi Il règne au château une ambiance de tranche camarade. Adore Flaubert, saviez-vous que c'était un amoureux de la Belgique hey, Rivers that once gently flowed through the countryside are now violent torrents, overflowing their banks and leaving destruction in their wake. The Seine, the Loire, and the Rhone rivers, landmarks of France, are no longer symbols of beauty, but of danger, as they tear through towns and cities. Across Normandy, Brittany, and the southern parts of the country, people are fighting to survive. The damage is unfathomable. More than 50,000 homes have been flooded, bridges are collapsing, roads are crumbling, and entire neighborhoods have been reduced to nothing but ruins. The historic city of Rouen, a symbol of resilience, now stands half-submerged under the weight of unstoppable floodwaters. As we speak, over 100,000 people have been forced from their homes. Families, torn from their lives, are now seeking refuge wherever they can find it. Emergency shelters are overflowing, and the French government has declared a national emergency. Rescue teams are working around the clock, pulling survivors from flooded homes and transporting them to safety. But as the waters continue to rise, so does the human toll. Toute Mar tout Marseille c'est inondé. Tout Marseille c'est inondé. C'est inondé. At least 27 people have tragically lost their lives. 27 souls, victims of this deadly natural disaster, with more people still missing as authorities search tirelessly in the flood ravaged regions. Families are grieving their loved ones, and entire towns are coming together in mourning. In the south of France, Toulouse and Lyon have been hit hardest. These vibrant cities, which once bustled with life, now face unimaginable destruction. Cars have been swept away, houses collapsed, and streets have turned into rivers. Emergency services are stretched thin, with rescue boats navigating the flooded urban landscapes, trying to reach those still trapped. But it's not just the cities, farmlands, once green and fertile, are now underwater. In the famous Bordeaux region, entire vineyards that have stood for centuries are now drowned in floodwaters, their future uncertain. 
The economic toll of this disaster is staggering, with damages already estimated in the billions of euros. And yet, the rain shows no signs of stopping. Meteorologists warn of more storms approaching, and the already saturated ground cannot handle another drop. The threat of further flooding is real, and with it, the risk of even more devastation looms. But in the face of this unthinkable tragedy, the spirit of the French people remains unbroken. Across the country, volunteers are stepping up, rescuers are risking their lives, and strangers are opening their homes to those who have lost everything. This is a disaster that affects all of France, but it's also a disaster that has shown the strength and unity of its people. Tiens, voilà, Riga, chez toi. Ils sont en train de descendre, hein. Tiens, voilà, Riga, chez toi. In the midst of the chaos, there are stories of hope and heroism. A rescue dog saved a child trapped by floodwaters in Avignon. In Saint Michel, locals formed a human chain to pull an elderly woman to safety. These moments of bravery remind us that even in the darkest of times, humanity shines through. And so, as France faces this unprecedented disaster, we must come together as a global community. The road to recovery will be long. Rebuilding towns, homes, and lives will take months, if not years. Le courant, quoi. But one thing is certain, France will rise again. It always has. It always will. To those affected by this catastrophe, know that you are not alone. The world stands with you. Together, we will face the storm. Together, we will rebuild. France will not be defeated, not by these floods, not by anything. Stay strong, stay united, and never lose hope. France will endure. Subscribe for more updates on this devastating disaster and learn how you can help the victims of the France floods.